What do you think of when you hear the words business model? Perhaps a plan or a framework to help you generate more money? You're not far off the mark, but generating more revenue is not all there is to business models. A restaurant, a retailer, and a manufacturer are different business models. We have the same variety in the nonprofit sector. In order to develop an effective and appropriate business model for your nonprofit organization, you first need to understand that the financial structure of nonprofits consists of four core components revenue mix, infrastructure, program costs, and capital structure. Together, these define the business model. Second, you should know that business models at nonprofit organizations are rarely fixed and unchanging. The structure and composition of revenue, expenses, and capital evolves over life stages and in response to external events and internal strategy. As a nonprofit leader, you must continually assess and prepare for the next iteration of your evolving business model. To do this, you need to understand the current operating model of your nonprofit. It is worthwhile to start with revenue. Nonprofits have a unique revenue mix. Do you know yours? Does it consist of foundation, corporate, or government grants, individual contributions, program service fees, membership fees, earned revenue? Next, let's look at infrastructure. What kind of technology infrastructure do you have? How do you manage human resources? Accounting. What does your board of directors look like? How are you structured to do the work you currently do and the work you aspire to do? There are three ways to look at infrastructure. The mandatory stuff, compliance, a board of directors, all the things you are required to have in place to operate as a nonprofit. Then there's the effectiveness of your infrastructure, your ability to build capacity, your staff, your communication infrastructure, etc. Last, you need to consider innovation in respect to infrastructure. How will you adapt your infrastructure to grow and meet new goals? Remember, different types of revenue require different infrastructure. For example, government funding requires a type of system to track and monitor how the funds are managed. Grant making has different requirements, and individual donor revenue requires relationship building. Now we're ready to talk about the cost of effective programs. How much does it cost to provide the services? The true cost of programs includes direct costs that are normally attributed to the program, plus allocations for common costs such as occupancy, technology, office expenses, and communications. Programs also require the services of human resources, accounting, and other centralized administrative functions. Finally, there's capital structure. What kind of assets does your nonprofit have to be effective? Do you have or need a building? How about cash reserves? Is your technology ancient? Do you have or need an endowment? At nonprofits, capital is often accumulated incrementally through fundraising, capital campaigns for buildings and endowments, and budget surpluses in the good years. The structure, restrictions, and cash requirements of your capital have a big impact on financial flexibility and cash flow. Once you have assessed your current operating model, you'll be in a better position to diagnose any critical weaknesses. With this knowledge, you'll also be able to forecast and plan a structure that will address the weaknesses and be effective in the future.